What's up guys and what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video with the Team Scat Cat channel. If you're a returning customer, welcome back. If you're just seeing this for the first time, remember to hit that subscribe button, like and browse, and share the word. Get the Team Scat Cat channel out to all your friends. See some of this greatness that's going on today. So today, my 2018 Hellcat has officially about 2,700 miles on it, so we'll round up a little closer to 3,000 miles on it. So I figured today we're gonna talk about, since I've gotten so much time, to learn about the quirks and the pros and the cons with this car. I think today we're gonna talk about the five things that I love about my 2018 Challenger Hellcat. Now granted, this will not be everyone's exact opinion or exact agreeance on what the five best things are about a Charger Hellcat, but obviously that's why we have so many colorful videos, that's why we have so many different opinions and so many different solutions, should I say, on the five best things about the Charger Hellcat. But obviously, you came to my channel to see my opinion, so obviously, these are my opinionated five best things about a Charger Hellcat. All right, so let's jump right into it. What do I think the five best things are about a 2018 Charger Hellcat? Well, let's start with thing the fifth on my list, and that has to be the curves of this car, the body lines of this car. Overall, the aesthetic of this car is one of the best things about a Charger Hellcat. I mean, if you stop and think about it for a second, every line on this car is basically functional, from the signature Hellcat hood to the body line swooping all the way down and to the tail end, even to the spoiler. Everything about this car is made for aerodynamics, and you can definitely see that in the engineering and the body molding that goes along with the Charger Hellcat. Not only that, but when the Charger and Challenger Hellcat first appeared on the scene, we were told that the Charger Hellcat was actually faster, as much as all of us muscle car enthusiasts wanted the Challenger Hellcat to be faster, simply because the Challenger Hellcat was basically, and still is, a brick going through the air. Nothing wrong with Challengers. I still love Challengers. I came from a Challenger, obviously. But, obviously, we were told that the Charger Hellcat was going to go faster. And it did. And it still will. Obviously, with the new iterations of the Challenger Hellcats, it might not go as fast now. But why did it originally go faster? That's because of the aerodynamics, that's because of the body lines. Everything about this car was made to slip through the air. As heavy as it may be, this car is still built for speed. Number four on the list of things that I think are great about a Charger Hellcat is, of course, the interior. Just opening the door to this car, you know you're about to step into something special. From the leather-wrapped everything, which is my option, from the leather-wrapped everything to the steering wheel to the seats that hug you just so perfectly to the soft touch materials on the door and on the center console, I think everything about the interior of this car is meant to show you that you're about to sit into something special. The comfortability period of this car is just great. I thought my Challenger was good, but sitting in this, especially with the all natural Laguna leather seats, which are emblazoned with the Hellcat SRT logo, everything about this just makes me want to never get out of this car. Not to mention all the little goodies inside the car that remind you that you are, of course, in an SRT product. Making its way to number three on the five greatest things about a Charger Hellcat has to be, for me, the entertainment system. From the upgraded Uconnect system, which now features Apple CarPlay in all 2018 and 19 models, and probably will thereafter, to the outrageous 19-speaker Harman Kardon sound system, the entertainment system of a Charger Hellcat is probably one of the best that I've seen in almost any top-of-the-line car to date. Not to mention the newly updated map system and the new points of interest that come with the map system and pretty much an overall better defined map itself just make this another reason why the entertainment system and the Uconnect system has made it on my list of the five greatest things about a Charger Hellcat. Number two on my list of the best things about a Charger Hellcat is, of course, the new and improved Torque Flight 8-speed transmission. Personally, for me, I would have nothing else in my car to control all 707 horsepower of a supercharged 6.2-liter V8 than the Torque Flight 8-speed transmission. I think the shifts are buttery smooth, the downshifts are just as good, and honestly, the throttle response without a pedal commander installed is incredible to say the least. So there is nothing that I would rather have to control all 700 horsepower of a Dodge Charger or Challenger Hellcat than the Torque Flight 8-speed transmission. 
And as an added bonus for me with this transmission, if you've been to this channel before, you know that my Challenger Scat Pack was a six speed. Driving around town, what I primarily commute, not too much highway, I usually got about 11, 12 to 13 miles per gallon with my six speed and my Challenger Scat Pack. With the Torque Flight 8 speed transmission, I'm getting at least 15 in the city, and when I do take highway trips, I can get up to about 20, and I'm sure if I took a long highway trip or a long road trip, I could probably get 23 or more miles per gallon if I was riding an eco mode, eco mode, excuse me, which is another thing that my six-speed Challenger just didn't have. And last but not least, the number one on the top of my list of things that I love about a Dodge Charger Hellcat, or the best thing about a Dodge Charger Hellcat is of course So that of course is the end of my list of the five best things or the five things that I love about my Dodge Charger Hellcat. Like I said before, if you're returning, thank you for giving this video a view and thank you for coming back to the Steam Team Scat Cat channel. I really appreciate it. If you're new, as I said before, please like, browse, and subscribe, of course. I've now got new playlists built up for new viewers, so everything is ready for a new audience of people coming to the Team Scat Cat channel. You guys stick around next time to when we get to what everybody loves, the five things that I hate or the five worst things about a Charger Hellcat. Again, thanks for viewing, and of course, take care, YouTube.